Hello the internet and welcome to another fast school holiday video workshop with the CNRL Library Innovation Studio and Library Children's Services. Today we're going to show you how you can build a solar turbine, which is a type of tower that uses the heat of the sun to warm up air that will rise and spin a rotor at the top, and in theory that could be used to power something. For this workshop you're going to need some blue tack or play-doh, something you can stick to a table and also stick in a kebab stick. You're going to need some black paper. If you don't have any black paper, you can get some white paper and paint it black. You're going to need another sheet of paper. Doesn't matter what color that sheet is. You're going to need some tape, a pair of scissors, and you're going to need a room that offers both warm and cold. You want a nice, cool room that happens to have a window with direct sun because convection fundamentally works by having cold and hot air rotating around the place. Okay, as you can see, I've built a prototype solar turbine tower, but I built it out of white paper, so it's completely useless. What's gonna happen with this is the sunlight will hit it and be reflected off. That's why it's white. It's reflecting all of the light energy all around itself and into your eyes. Now, if it was made out of black, it will be absorbing all the light. That's why it's black. And that light energy will be converted into heat energy when it hits the black paper. It'll warm up the air inside the tower. Now, if the air inside the tower is warmer than the air outside the tower, that hot air will rise up and out of the tower. Hot air doesn't just rise, it rises above cold air. That's the key thing. The air outside needs to be cooler than the air inside. And as that hot air rises out, it'll spin the rotor. And now that hot air is gone, cold air will be sucked into these holes in the bottom to be heated up by the sun, and that's just going to keep happening. That's what convection is. So what we need to do is build a solar tower like this, but it's got to be made out of black paper. First things first, get some tape ready. You're going to need that to hand. Now, get your black paper, and we're going to roll it into a sort of a cloak shape. It needs to be smaller at the top than it is at the bottom. So, that's pretty good. Small hole at the top, big hole at the bottom. We need to secure this with tape. We need to secure it quite well. We don't want this unfolding on us. So there's one piece. I'm going to do another piece further up. May have to cut all this tape in black later on. Okay, that's pretty good. Big hole, small hole. Now obviously this isn't going to stand up, so get your scissors. Now gently push it. We don't want to crease it. We just want to get this flat-ish. And we're going to cut this bit off the bottom, leaving a nice flat base. Pretty good. We're also going to snip the top off to give it a nice flat top. Okay, pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Now, next up, get your blue tack, put it on the table. Get your kebab stick, put it in the blue tack. Now the kebab stick needs to be pointing out of the top of your tower. And this clearly isn't going to do that. I'm gonna snip some off the bottom. We want the top to be quite narrow. Next up, we need to cut out a little tab out of the side. We need to make little air tunnels, basically these gaps that'll let the cool air rush into the bottom as the hot air comes out of the top. We're gonna to do one or two more of those. We need at least 50% of the cardboard. We don't want this thing collapsing on us. It, it, it's like we're giving it legs to stand on. It doesn't have to be too neat. I'm quite happy with that. Lovely. We're going to make a rotor. First thing I want you to do is cut out a square. Just a rough square, but we're gonna make it into a perfect square by folding it from one corner across so the side is flat. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit extra there. We're gonna chop that off and now we'll have a perfect square. In actual fact, we've got a perfect triangle. We're gonna fold it again into a smaller triangle. Again, get this exact. Rather than having a triangle, we want the letter V. So, cut a small triangle out of the middle of your triangle. Now unfold it, and hey presto, you've got yourself a rotor. Now you'll notice these are all folded in, except for this one. This is folded in a different direction. We want to make sure they fold all the same way. So just that one needs folding back a little bit. We want to keep those folds. We want that V kind of aspect to it. Next step is to cut just from here to the fold. I'm going to do that all the way around, so we've done all four of them. What this will mean is when it's sitting on here, when the hot air comes up, it's going to push the flat bit upwards. But instead of pushing it all the way, it'll spin because it can't escape around this side. It can only escape around this side. So as it tries to escape around here, it'll actually push it. And that'll happen on all of them. It'll all get pushed in the same direction. Okay, I'm happy with that. 
And now we need to go and put this in a place where there's a bit more bright light shining on it. Now the next step is a little bit tricky. You've got to get your rotor on top of your kebab stick and it may not go flat the first time. So what you're going to have to do is just to try again, give it little changes each time until you achieve perfect balance. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed learning about how light energy gets converted into heat energy to help cause convection as you built your solar turbine. And keep watching to find out what you're going to need for the next fast school holiday video workshop. See you next time. Shrink chip packets to make miniature key rings. So these are the things you're going to need to be able to make your key rings. First of all, obviously you need some chip packets. And the first job is to eat the chips inside. Once you've done that, you're going to use a little bit of detergent and water and clean all of the crumbs out and let the chip packets dry. Other things you're going to need to make your key rings include a hole punch. You'll also need some baking paper and you will need two oven pans.